Did you plan to draw the Kyoto Sister School Exchange event from the beginning? I had thought about the appearance of the Kyoto School members, but I was more surprised that Nanami did not die in the Mahito battle. Was Nanami supposed to die in the Mahito battle? I thought Nanami would lose one of his arms at the very least. But when I thought about how the battle would go, Nanami started to move on his own. It was the first time I realized that a character can transcend the script. I had never understood what characters could move on their own because there was a script. But this was my first taste of that feeling. That made me feel really good. I wanted to experience more of that feeling, so I decided to sprinkle the uncertainty into the exchange event without completing the script. Maybe it's a bad habit of mine, but I don't make clear winners and losers in the exchange event. Kugisaki was shot by Mai on the way, and Hanami intervened in the fight between Kamo and Fushiguro. It's your feel that you were the rightful heir to weekly jump, isn't it? Tournaments are ended by intrusions, such as Naruto's tuning exam and Saint Seiya's Volume 1. I didn't plan to draw a tournament game from the beginning. I had the option of separating the chapter from infiltration of the card split into the school. But since the characters didn't transcend the script, I decided to write them brightly. What is the origin of Todo's name? I really liked the family name Todo. I was going to use this family name for a strong character. If I may say so, he is a character who makes anachronistic statements. The purpose of designing Todo was clear. I wanted to create Zaraki Kenpachi of Bridge in Jujutsu Kaisen. When Zaraki Kenpachi appears, everyone thinks if He's here, we can't lose. Todo is the kind of character who, when he appears, makes you think it'll be okay because it'll be a gag. Todo's Boogie Oogie was very active in Shibuya incident. It was fun to draw. This is because Todo moves well and his ability is very versatile. Todo is strong alone, but he becomes even stronger with the partner. When Todo is active, he can make Itadori look good. What kind of woman is your type? I'm not trying to be pretentious, but the type has been disappearing over the years. When I was in high school, I had a type of woman I liked. But these days, I feel that every woman are good because they do their best. I don't know if it's because of this, but I like women who are well groomed. I saw the barbar jeweler, so I thought you like thick lower bodies. For the matter, I merely control my own drawings. If it's a battle manga, I think. It's weird if the characters don't have a good physique. In Fukushima Sensei's war manga called Hidoryodan Hachifukujin, women's arms and legs are drawn thicker. At first, I thought it was a habit of him, but when I found out that he had written it on purpose, because the woman in the writer's story was slender, I was surprised and thought it was amazing. When Todo met Itadori, he saw a memory that does not exist. At this point, we all thought Todo was a strange guy, but this is Itadori's ability, right? 
when Chōsō saw the memory that does not exist, people said, So that's what happened, and I wondered what they mean. People said, It's a Itadori's ability, isn't it? But it's not Itadori's card's technique. Todo and Chōsō are having flashbacks of their memories for different reasons. I had forgotten that Todo had seen a memory that does not exist, and I had intentionally caused a public uproar. Mekamaru's design is based on Shishio. I can't help but think he would look like Shishio if he was bandaged up and his hair was sticking out. The battle between Megamaru and Panda was fun. I wondered if it was really a battle using Ka's energy. I wondered if you were enjoying drawing it. It was fun to draw. As for the Megamaru, I was thinking of making the battle different from the usual Jujutsu Kaisen battle. Later, Megamaru's main role in the story continued. But you finally drew what you wanted to draw. Mekamaru's mode absolute cockpit battle was drawn. I thought I would be able to draw it someday if I used the anything goes pair of the card's energy. I'd like to draw Barbar Jura as a series someday, so I drew it as a preliminary exercise. Barabara Jura is also set up to exorcise monsters with robots, but that's Evangelion, isn't it? I really like Anno-san, and I also really like Evangelion, and I think I need to graduate from Evangelion someday. Anno-san also keeps saying that Evangelion is not the only content in the world. I'm thinking that I need to draw it that for graduation from Evangelion. But you've graduated from Evangelion, haven't you? The onomatopoeia of Pao 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 is Jojo, okay? This is an onomatopoeia that exists only in the mind of Araki Hirohiko. In addition to Araki Sensei's work, the storyboard for Hosoda san's film, Our War Game, had POW as the SE for the technique, and I've always thought POW was a great idea. With the exception of Volume Zero, the only romantic storyline was given to Mekamaru. That was given to Mekamaru as well, but I gave it to Miwa. After all, the only female character that could be assigned to such a story was Miwa. Hanami is not a bad card spirit, it's a fellowship. I think everyone has a fear of nature, but more of a guilt about environmental issues. When such negative thoughts accumulate, an honorable card spirit like Hanami is born. As a result, Hanami didn't use domain expansion, but did you decide what kind of domain expansion you wanted to use? I hadn't decided, since the solar beam is a must-hit technique in the domain. All that was left was a visual of the domain, but I hadn't decided. Hanami used a flower in helping Jogo, so is that the kind of domain expansion that loses motivation to fight? I think it will be an pastoral domain expansion like that. I think it will be buff or debuff, and then the solar beam will become a must hit. It's fun that Mekamaru is a feature in the Jujutsu Koshin, and even more fun that Todo is hated. In the normal episode between chapters, I try not to worry about the result of the questionnaire. People want to be stimulated in Jujutsu Kaisen, but I don't care. 
but I was surprised at how well received it was. The reader can also rest his her mind. I think the normal episodes make the serious episodes more serious. I think this and Itadori's old story are only normal episodes. I'd like to ask about that. Is the episode where Ozawa san appears just a normal episode? It's a normal episode. I thought that even that episode was a memory that does not exist. That's a memory that exists. People who read the serials think that there are no more normal episodes like that, right? I think I cannot draw a normal episode in the future. After the Shibuya incident, daily life never comes. Utahime, Todo, and Muta all have similar bruises. Does that mean anything? It doesn't mean anything. I think it's normal to have scars if they are Jujutsu sorcerer. Muta's bruises are the remnants of skirts. In the region of obedience, battles are fun. I like the battle of Kusozu vs Itadori and Kumisaki the best. Unexpectedly, Kumisaki looked good, and as a result, Itadori looked good too. As a result, the characters including the enemies, became more attractive. It's called the Xozu, but will the other six appear? I have no plans to make them appear. Numbers 1 through 3 were born when their mother was still in good health. After number 4, they are not special cast objects and are kept at the school. The only special cast objects are numbers 1 through 3, and the others are in a sense dead. As the eldest child, Choso feels the need to collect his younger brother's corpse. When I move Choso as an older brother, he sometimes looks very much like Tanjiro. I sometimes revise his lines because I think this is wrong. We should talk about Zain Toji. He is a physical gifted. He has zero cast energy. Yet, he is the strongest in the world because he has zero cast energy. Thanks to him, Fushiguro Megumi's background has become deeper. I am a bit worried about Fushiguro, and at first I thought it was easier to move him than Itadori, but his highlight scenes less and less. He's also difficult to melee combat with in terms of ability. I'm glad that the first story, or rather the father's power, gave Fushiguro more depth. In the Shibuya incident, he was revived and fought Fushiguro Megumi, but it ended without much clarity for Megumi. This was the right thing to do, wasn't it? Yes, he should be told about him by Gojo to Megumi. In the Gojo's past arc, you described how Gojo came to be the strongest. If I don't draw the background, Gojo will always remain clean. I have the impression that you have drawn a very painful story. I had decided from the beginning that I would draw this story. Ghetto, who was thinking of helping the non jujutsu sorcerer, had changed. Gojo, who was saying that it doesn't matter, had changed and each change is a cross between the other. I thought Ghetto was sensory from Yu Yu Hakusho. 
Sense is past is easy to understand, and everyone can easily understand sense is feelings. I was going to try to draw the same thing, but I couldn't have the same feelings for Ghetto that I had for Sensui. I cannot think he had no choice. For this reason, I let Tsukumo speak the setting. That was a conversation that created the current situation in Shibuya. I always had the setting that no cards can be born from Sosuro, but I was not going to let her speak this setting if I could feel it's no wonder you hate people to get old. But I wasn't convinced, so I decided to let her speak the setting and let the reader understand the logic side of things. Tsukumo Yuki lives on a different scale from everyone else. Her statement to Ghetto did not include her own intentions. She doesn't care what others are doing. Tsukumo has lines under her eyes that weren't there when she first appeared, but I apologize for any misunderstanding it may have caused. Itadori also has lines under his eyes after he became a vessel for Skuna. Does that mean anything? Skumo has eye bags and I just drew them clearly, but I got a lot of comments from various quarters. I really like the relationship between Konsil and Zain Toji. Which you wrote, Conceal is the coolest in the Gojo's past arc. It's like watching an old manly movie. I like Korean movies that have a backbone, so I created the character based on the image of Korean movies. Will he ever reappear? He is a character that doesn't need to appear in the future. But I would be glad if he did in order to add depth to the work. <laughs>